Hiya. Hi, nice to see you. You okay? Good, good. Um, so what brings you in today? Do you have an appointment? Okay. No, just having a browse, yeah. Brilliant. Well, we've got, um, quite the selection here of different fragrances. Um, we have the stronger, more, um, nighttime evening wear ones, or we have lighter and fresher, more girly fragrances, or we do have some, a, a small selection of body sprays also. Yeah. Are you looking for anyone in particular? Okay, a present for a friend. Brilliant. Is that female? Yeah, perfect. Um, okay, would you uh, like some help with uh, choosing fragrance? Okay, so I'm just going to kind of go through our most popular kind of bestsellers, yeah, right, I mean is there any sense that you know that they are into, like the more um, floral or fruity, yeah, no that's cool, I'll, j I'll just show you them, um, just the full selection then, okay nice. Okay, so I'm going to be just spraying the fragrances onto these um, tester cards. Yeah, they are also a uh, pack of playing cards. Yeah, okay. No, we got Joker. Anyway, so I think let's start with um, Let's start with this one. This is the Fever La Juicy. Um, this is by Juicy Couture. Couture Couture. I say it so many ways. Um, and it is comes in this lovely couple box that says yeah, Fever La Juicy with the Juicy Couture kind of logo stamp thing up there you call it and um, this is the 50 ml bottle this is the uh, all day perfume I didn't pronounce that too well that's okay um yeah spray it's got a lovely pink with some gold borders and some details just up here in the corner this is a lovely bottle I'll just open this up And then it comes in this beautiful bottle. I am a big fan of the bottle. Um, it is quite over the top, you know, big <laughs> plastic gem on the top with a big pink bow. Um, but it, I mean, it stands out, doesn't it? But yeah. And there's this little J, dangly gem, and get your and then again the same logo on there, the uh, <clears throat> the crest. Just remove the lid like that. You're just left with the bottle. I'm just going to spread some of this um, onto the card. Give it a little shake. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, this is a a, a big favourite. Just have a smell. Yeah, very fresh. Um, it's a, a lighter scent, but it will stay with you. It's a good staying power. So, um, girly. Got hints of vanilla. A bit peachy almost. Um, I mean you can smell the uh, the smell. Yeah, I, I do like this one. Um, a little bit does go a long way. So this is more, I'd say, I mean, this can be evening or day wear. I'd probably say more day wear. And it would last to um, the day. So you don't need to kind of reapply as much. Just a bonus. Yeah. Do you want me to 
Yeah, I'll pop it to the side, that's fine. Just put the lid back on. Like that. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to go in with... <clears throat> Probably, probably my personal favourite. Um, this is C by Chloe. So, I mean, the name in itself, I think, would be the best. Um, I don't know, something that just attracts me to it. Um, just, it's a really beautiful name, I think, just of a perfume. <laughs> so good. Yeah, anyway, this is C by Chloe. It's not the original. This is a another one. So I really, really love the colour. It's beautiful, almost. It's like a coral, hot pink, orange. Oh, it looks orange in your eyes. I'd imagine. Um, <laughs> yeah, nice shiny bottle. The bottle, the box. Sorry, doesn't give away much as to what the scent would be. I think for me the scent is quite. I'm not sure how well it matches with the box, but this is again the Old Day Parfum 30ml bottle. Again, let's unwrap this one. And this is a very simple glass bottle. It has um, little edges. I don't know what you'd call these. Edges and a little metal top with a little handle thing. Who doesn't need a little a necklace? Well, not. It's up to you. See by Chloe on that. And again, what would this smell like? You wouldn't know. So we're going to test it. Nice. This one is stronger. Um, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. No, okay, go on. Anyway, um, <laughs> cut. This one is just it's it's not because it's like a lot of the fragrances. A lot of the fragrances that we have are um the celebrity endorsed ones because they are more popular. This is not, and this is that's why I think it's a very unique scent. To sum up in a word, it would be beachy. I think you can smell the salty sea um, in a nice way. The sand, the sun, it just encompasses all of that. It's You look at someone with beachy blonde hair, you know, beads in the hair. Um, kind of hippie-ish. I mean, this is how they'd smell in my head. So, you smell like <laughs> you have a tan. Again, evening, day, this is totally versatile. If you wear this to, you know, an evening out on a date, um, perfect, or just generally in the day to work or um, shopping or anything, I think it would be perfect. So I would recommend that. But yeah, I can pop it down there. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is this one, a more tropical scent. Um, this is the Escada. Tarsh Sunset from memory. Um, as you can see, we've used a lot here. As the test has been used a lot because it's um, so popular. Lovely sunset bottle. You can understand why it's called Tarsh Sunset. I hope it's called that, otherwise, I'm just making that up. 75% sure it's called that. So, this is probably, I mean, this is a really affordable from memory. Um, recommend this. Beautiful day scent. It's not too girly and it's not heavy, musky, spicy and um, more sensual. No, it's like a, a tropical mix. This is very tropical but not too fruity. So, number two. Feels good. This is just pa passion fruit, mango, um, but not overpoweringly fruity, not like, gosh, wearing a fruit basket. Not weirdly fruity, you know? Yeah, it's 
it's lovely. It's very passion fruity. Um, get a lot of passion fruit. The only issue um, with this is that it is it's an all-day toilet. I bet I pronounced that totally wrong. Forgive me. Um, it doesn't have its long staying power. This is almost almost a body spray. Um, but it just smells so beautiful. You know, just it's a quite nice handbag size. I think this is the 30 mil, 50 mil. <laughs> Pop it in there, reapply. Job's done. You know, it's brilliant. Okay, I'm gonna continue with the theme of of tropical. This is another one. This is the Fuella, Fuella, Fuella. Not 100%. This was um, imported to us from Spain. So, again, a nice reverse kind of sunset bottle. Could start with a dark pink, fade up to the um, yellow, and end on a clear with a beautiful bright pink lid. Got some white detailing. Very pretty bottle. I think this is the this is the hundred mil. So you can move these quite a lot of this. Mm. This is a stronger scent than before than the Taj Sunset Escada by Escada. Um, it's slightly stronger. Bringing in a little bit more um, spicy smells, <laughs> yeah, a little more spicier, which is lovely. It's more evening. So you can wear the Taj Sunset in the day, then switch to this in the evening. It's like a tropical blend, you know, brilliant for your holidays. Um, yeah, our um, fragrance buyer did actually purchase these while on. On holiday, so inspired by the surroundings, so that's definitely a a winner. Okay, we're gonna go in with this one. This is Honey by Mark Jacobs. So he started with this Daisy, similar bottle, but with Daisies. Um, I love the bottle. The bottle, it's very bee inspired. Got a little pearly thing with little bee wings. I think <laughs> they're meant to be, yeah. Then we have another little pearly thing with more little wings and the polka dot bottle. And it says Honey by Mark Jacobs. This is a stronger, more sophisticated scent. Um, I mean, I love honey in general, like as the food, <laughs> but it doesn't smell exactly like honey. Unfortunately, because that would be really awesome, but damn it, they got to keep it classy. So, I shall spritz. Yeah, very fresh. You have to smell very fresh. Um, not as girly feminine. Uh, well, it's very feminine, but not as sweet, um, sugary scent of a scent. Um, yeah, again, fresh, summery. I'd say it's more of a daytime fragrance. It does have good staying power. This is the All Day Parfum one, so it will stay longer, which is always a bonus. I mean, does your friend like? Yeah, you think she like that kind of scent? Good. Again, lovely bottle. I'd say it's another good one to go for. Okay, then we're going to go for the. We have the Beyonce range. So we have. Well, we have two at the Beyonce range with Heat and Heat Rush. So I'll start with the original Heat. I've got this one, and we have this in the 50 mil. No. Nice red bottle, Beyonce Heat, with the. B embossed on the black plastic or cardboard or whatever. Um, yeah. Now this was actually recommended to to me by another perfume mist. Perfumist. 
uh, she, yeah, she um, did a great job selling it to me. So I went out and bought it for the store. And it's proven very, very popular. Um, so it's lovely red bottle, starts with deep red, fading up to clear. Plastic lid. Be in it as well. Yeah, it's 50 mil. And this is probably, again, one of my personal favourites. This is the one that comes in my handbag just with me all the time. Because it just, you will definitely, you will, sorry, get complimented on this. Um, undoubtedly, you know beautiful scents. Why it's so popular because it does appeal to all, to most. Perfect. It's just brilliant. It's just very flirty and almost central. I mean, I think it could be suggested this is more of an evening uh, fragrance. Slightly heavier. I think if you do wear it in the day though, you, you don't get complimented. And it's just going to make you just smell brilliant. Um, there we go. Yeah, it's slightly spicier. Um, still, a little bit of vanilla. Um, mandarin. Yeah, it's brilliant. Um, I can't get enough of this. And then we go on to the lighter. If you want to heat brush. 100ml. This one's the all day toilet. Open it up. This one's the amber shade, it's kind of orangey, fading up to clear. It's, it is, I mean, it could be worth getting both. They are distinctively different. This one is, yeah, lighter, definitely more orangey. Um, get a lot of orange from this one. You will have to reapply with this one more, being an all day toilet. I love it. It's lovely. It's again passion fruit mango. This is the kind of more tropical daytime wear version, I'd say. Yeah, um, I think they do go well together though. It's kind of the daytime with the nighttime, so it could be an idea to get both. Yeah, you think I might want to do that? Okay, that's fine. I'll put them both together then. Okay. Then we're going to go with the Lady Gaga Flame. Now this is black fluid. You can see it's um, still wrapped up. So we're just going to open this one. Um, again, recommended by a lot of other perfume art perfumist. What did I call them before? Perfumist. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. This is the uh, yes. Just unwrap this. Um. This is a very fa famous fragrance. I think it has a very distinctive smell. So this is the 100ml. We'll just go ahead and open that now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and smell this. Take a look at the bottom. Wow, so... Wow, that a lot of so okay it's a big bottle um it kind of looks like a dinosaur claw on a egg um <laughs> it's my reading of the bottle um yeah you can see the black fluid it's the name so you can see how it, um fluid is in fact black let's just remove the claw that's a weapon right there Look, it's like a wolverine. 
Okay, Lady Gaga fame. Oh, can I, I'll read you the bottle because it's really... Okay. The first of its kind, this perfume is an innovation in fluid technology. Because that's the thing. It's black like the soul of fame, but invisible once airborne. And it says the tears of ben Belladonna, crushed heart of tiger or chid, orchid here. With a black veil of incense, pulverized apricot, and the combination, combinative, combinative. Oh my, sorry, cust, um, combinative essences of saffron and honey drops. Beautiful. Basically, it's got some honey, some apricot, orchid, incense. In short, I'm gonna spray the black flavor and see what happens. In fact, it is clear. Okay, it's nice. I'm getting the apricot and the honey. Definitely a stronger scent. Shall I smell? <laughs> Sorry, smell. Um, yeah. Do like I we it, the customers do like this one, um, <laughs> an evening wear I'd just recommend. It could be a little much for day wear, you know. People might be slightly off, off put, but it's interesting. It's not your typical strong, heavy scent. It does have that element of um, fruitiness with the apricot, um, incense. I'm getting that slightly, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do mean, did you want to get more of an evening fragrance or either, whichever smells the nicest, a good way to go about it. I would recommend that. Yeah. Yeah, I can put it on the side, that's no problem. So, yeah, nice big bottle. This is the. Oh, did parfum. It's gonna stay a long while. Oh, that metal. There's a lot in there. Lovely. Okay, moving on. And we're just going. I'm um, going to end the perfume section with um our most expensive and also strongest fragrances. This is the Tom Ford Neroli Portofino Body Splash. So yeah, this is typically for males, although it is, it is unisex. And this is the 236ml, your typical standard size, right? 236. Um, <laughs> that's a big one. Lovely, 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 lovely blue bottle. This is a beautiful colour, in my opinion. A um, glass top and a glass label. Unscrew it. You can, we don't need to. I smell of that, yeah. You apply. Well, that's one way to do it. Um, <laughs> just put it on his skin, really. Very um, watery, uh, I don't know how to, fresh. It does smell manly. Um, seeing as it is kind of for men. But if you want that more kind of sexy, um, heavier, muskier evening scent, this is one to go for. It's also very fresh, actually. It's a strange combination. Um, fresh in the sense of I'm getting lime made that up just then but yeah fresh lime citrus that's what i'm looking for very citrusy very citrusy and almost like the sea so imagine you're in the sea in a lemon this is this is your your guy right here okay very popular this one does retail uh more expensive is more expensive than the others um, obviously it's a much larger size 
it's going to last you a lot longer and it's a lot um, stronger. So that's definitely an option. Yeah, you like that one. Okay, yeah. I'll pop that one over here then. Watch that. Did you want to see the body sprays? Yeah. Okay, it's got a selection of... Oh, I have four. This is different. Okay, well, we have a big and a miniature. But I'll show you the big. So we have a selection of three. These are the three that we have chosen to carry. I'll show you our most popular. This is the Be Enchanted by Bath and Body, Body Works. A plastic bottle. Classically a typical body spray packaging. There's a tree on it. <laughs> Some flowers. Yeah, this is very I will still I'll spray some of the queen on the card. Wow, this is um sugar and passion fruits. Um that's what I'm thinking of. Very flirty, very, very, very sweet, um, fruity, kind of tangy. I think if this was a food it would be a passion fruit. It's like sweet and it got that kick. Very, very pretty. Very girly. Um, very popular, that one. Mm. And then again, another girly sweet scent is Paris Amour. It's pretty. It has a little shiny pink pearl on it. Jack. Sorry. more vanilla I think of vanilla sugar pink just flirty very girly I think um, I think you would be definitely complimented on the scent very fun fresh I mean you could wear it if you were just with the girlfriends or if you were going on a date or so it's very versatile and then finally we have the Use cherry blossom. As you can tell by the uh, the tester, this hasn't been used as much. It's not as popular um, as the others. Oh, you'd like my personal view? Yeah, I don't like this one as much, to be honest. I'm gonna spray it. Contaminate the air. Um. <laughs> I mean, you have a sniff for that. It's just a little bit. It's quite strong. Quite powdery, like baby powder. Definitely a more mature scent. You know, mature um, fragrance. Which I, you know, some of them would be lovely. This one, baby powdery, heavy. You'd smell the kind of not alcohol in it, but the kind of chemicalness. Just I find I'm no, this one's not I'm not gonna contaminate the world with that one. So yeah, we have these two body sprays and these perfumes. Um, no, it's been my pleasure. No, I, I I love smelling them all. You know, getting reacquainted with scents. So have, you know, do you want to purchase anything? Today, maybe leaving everything. Perfect, yeah. You'd like the uh, the C by Chloe. Put that one away for you. Um, okay, you can go for two. Good choice. No, that's fine. And the Escada, yes, definitely. This is a kind of guaranteed. You know, if she doesn't like girly scents, she'll love it. If she doesn't like the manly scents, she'll love it. I shall give her these for you then and uh, pop them by the till. No, you're welcome. Uh, I hope you have a good uh, evening shopping. Okay.